I'm Janice Mars Wunderlich, and I welcome you to my exhibition at the Lux Arts Center in Lincoln, Nebraska. I titled this exhibition Turbulence to um, show the emotional impact um, of the past few years, and particularly this last year, and some of the creatures and the figures that I made in this exhibition embody um, both the uh, the humor and the sadness and just the high range of emotions that I've felt uh, recently. And so I welcome you to view the show uh, full of ceramics and paintings. Um, this is a, a good example of what I'm talking about here. This, this work called Rocking the Boat um, shows the struggle and the joys of um, parenting and of relationships and you can see uh, imagery relating to turbulence, this idea of flowing or moving water, um, moving air. I have a lot of images in the show of floating people who are trying to be resilient and buoyant amidst the turbulent flow of the air and water beneath them. So this is one example. This work is called Apron Strings, and I wanted to capture the emotion and struggle and joy of a parent nurturer who is watching her, her little um, children grow up very quickly and then soon move off, become independent, and float away into their own life adventures. And she's wearing them as she would um, an apron. And there's all sorts of imagery here discussing the idea of separation and moving on, movement, turbulence, um, connection, and also disconnect. And so I'm um, trying, and if you look around the back of this, there's a whole surprise too with like this really beautiful um, patron saint on the back. So I also like to talk about the uh, delicate balance between the spiritual and, um, and the more analytical or logical in life. This piece is called The Embrace, and it's one of the more challenging pieces that I've made in this body of work. Challenging because trying to build two figures together like this that are highly detailed, and then to try to put this into the kiln is uh, quite a complex thing to do. So it took a lot of uh, strategy and problem solving in order to create this large figure. Um, it's made of clay, and then I put lots of glaze on. It even has some glass frit that I've um, put on it as well, so it's a very um, elaborate and detailed layered surface. I wanted to discuss the uh, idea of getting together when there's discord and disconnect within a community and within um, peoples. And I wanted to show just the complexity of relationships and how coming together can often, or getting close enough, can often take care of some of the traumatic events or troubles that we have within our society. And so we have these two figures that are coming together in an embrace. And it's interesting the way this works. An embrace actually physically creates a larger footprint so that this is a lot less likely to fall over as I'm firing it. So not only is it representing stability or um, a sort of new beginning, a stabilized relationship, but it also physically embodies stabilization as I put these figures together and fire them together in the kiln. When I work on my sculptures, I love to create a really detailed front side, but then I really enjoy making an entirely different party happen on the back side. So here, if you spin around this academic animal, um, their front is all busy, but then when you turn around, you get a surprise and there's a little creature waiting to say hello and emerging for you on the back side. Some of the work in this show is really new, so much so that the paint is still drying and I, the, the pieces are still warm from the kiln. But this is an example of one of the works that I just finished this week. I'm titling this painting Emergent and I'm thinking about um, the many creation myths that we have in our world. Um, there are ancient myths and modern myths about how we came to be. And I like to think about those and I like to think about the interwoven similarities that all cultures um, and all civilizations have in our need to figure out our origins. And I also am really impressed with how many times the feminine, uh, the, the fem feminine is, a, is a part of the origin or the beginning. And in this piece, I particularly wanted to pay homage to or give power to the female figure. Um, there are so many times in our 
I think in our um, modern culture where we don't give enough um, power to or reverence to um, to women and their role in birthing and creating and so I wanted to give her tons of power um, and to sort of show off her, um, her beauty as she sort of creates the world and so this is a little bit of my sort of Noah Ark story or creation story and I've got lots of animals. I also, um, as one of my stra strategies to cope is to use humor and so I have some funny elements too or um, or things that don't make sense. Um, I love symmetry and asymmetry, so um, I've spent several months just really enjoying uh, the idea of making this. I also love to think about um, cathedrals and places of um, sacred worship and how they um, correspond to or parallel with the body. And so I have her kind of acting as a cathedral, and you'll see that imagery in several of the works in this exhibition. While you're here visiting this exhibition, I hope that you'll also notice my little creature wall here that I've put together. These really are um, strategies that I employ to stay sane in this uh, very turbulent time that we are living in. Um, I will often make these little um, creatures as, uh, as sort of support to myself or as a way to kind of find humor or find satisfaction in my day. So I have these religious figures like patron saints, and I have everything from like a lady wearing fallopian tube, or a creature wearing fallopian tube undies to um, a family in a boat that's rocking along. Um, I've got flying rabbits and um, creatures who are reading like academic animals. So I just really have a lot of fun with this and hopefully by looking at the little details of each one, you'll sort of see how I weave um, difficult questions and also humor and small details into my work. I hope you can get a chance to come out to the Lux Art Center to see my exhibition Turbulence. It will be up for the summer, so from June 4th until August 27th of 2021. So I hope that you can make it here.